Okay, here's a look at my uh, Nano Talon Evo. One of my newest planes. I've only got a, uh, a few flights on it. You've probably seen this around um, from other reviewers. So I'm not going to go too in-depth on the, on the plane itself. But it's basically the same as the old Nano Talon. Except it's got the flat wings. Uh, and it's got a couple other minor changes. There's a GPS uh, spot right here with a little plastic cover. Um... There's some uh, skid material on the bottom that the old one didn't have. So I'm going to show you how I set mine up. Uh, as you can see, I'm using uh, these are R9, uh, the R9 Slim Diversity Receiver. Let's take a look inside. Uh, plenty of room for a battery. I generally run an 1800 4 cell. It balances out really nice with that. And you get a good 20 to 25 minutes of flight time, so no complaints there. And uh, here's my setup inside. There you go. That's a um, F411 WSE, the double stack 20 by 20 board. There's my R9 Slim right there. Uh, it's working out really well. It's really nice. This plane uh, draws only about 16 to 18 amps at full go. So the uh, smaller board works very well for it. And um, it's, a, it's a really nice little plane. Uh, I gotta say, I'm I'm, I've had other planes this size. I've had uh, a micro Sky Hunter, which is up there in the rafters right now. I've had a couple of um, you know, 28 inch wings and such. Uh, I've got my uh, twin, um, my twin Apex, you know, but none of them fly as good as this little plane. I'm just really surprised, which you know, um, considering the Nat the Mini Talon, I've got over there on the wall really only flies very well in um windless conditions uh you know what i mean like it, it to, to get that thing really it flies well all the time and it is very efficient but to get it really smooth you need like zero wind but the nano talon the nano talon seems to fly good no matter what so uh let's see i've got a uh, fox air camera i want to say that's a um a monster something like that i don't remember it might be an arrow I don't know. It's got a nice wide lens on it. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Everything else is pretty much stock. Uh, put my canopy back on here. And I'll show you underneath. I put the um, my VTX on the bottom. You see there's my antenna right there. This is a uh, Eosheen VTX. I usually use a... A AKK ET VTX because uh, you know what? Well, I'm flipping this upside down. Let me just pull my pull my tail feathers out so I don't mess those up. Okay, I usually use an uh, a AKK VTX. Uh, for some reason, I bought an Eosheen this time. I think I was ordering from Banggood, and it's all they it's the only one they had in stock in the U.S. warehouse. So there you go. There's my uh, VTX. Uh, with a, just a pigtail antenna and I got my ESC tucked over in the side there and it never gets hot it's hot glued in and the hot glue never melts so it never gets hot enough to even soften hot glue it's it's really this machine really draws next to no amps and that's pretty much it uh, it's a simple setup and we're gonna put some uh, I'm gonna put some flying footage in here um, I have a couple I have a, a really nice flight that I've done on it that I'll put in a nice uh, wide ranging, not really long range, but about, you know, a kilometer out and a, and a good loop. And I've got some uh, footage of launching auto launch, the iNav auto launch uh, with return to home on that I'll, uh, I'll put in here so that you can check it out. But this is a really nice little plane. I really am impressed. If you're in the market for a plane of this size, you know, I can't think of anything else, except maybe there's one other plane that I like as much as this one that's about the same size, and it's it's this. It's the VAS Wraith. Uh, so, I said both of these planes are fantastic for their size. Uh, and I do put the Nano Talon on the same level as the VAS Wraith. They're very different, but they're, they're both excellent flyers in this size. And you see they're about the same size. Give or take.
yeah, the race is a little shorter, but a little longer. You know, so pretty, pretty good, pretty close. So anyway, I'm gonna put this back in the rack. Anyway, the uh, the Nano Talon, excellent, excellent little plane. If you're looking for a plane in this size, uh, I would highly recommend it. It's it's pretty good. So enjoy the flight footage and get out there and get flying. <laughs>